The next movement is called Six Healing Sounds, and before I show them to you, I need to give you a brief uh, Chinese spiritual history lesson. There were two um, very strong influences in Chinese history, spiritual history, Confucianism and Taoism. Confucius was very much concerned with social justice, and Confucian monks spent a great deal of time out in the world. Taoist monks, on the other hand, were mostly concerned with their position in nature and in the universe. And they spent a great deal of time meditating and living in caves and putting themselves in touch with all things within the cosmic consciousness. And so therefore, their bodies would become exposed to great hardship and they would often fall into disease. But they discovered over the course of many centuries that if they chanted certain sounds and combined them with certain movements, very much like Tai Chi Chao movements I'm about to show you, they could not only make themselves better, but they could actually enhance their health. Um, so the six sounds are the following. Ho, Hu, Su, like tsunami. Sh, Shi, Shui. And they're actually aspirated from the diaphragm and when done properly, they're almost inaudible. So we're not shouting the sounds. It's literally aspirating from the diaphragm, almost as if you were a singer. And here are the movements that go along with from the rest position. The monks found that these sounds actually corresponded to different body parts. It's not that important to know exactly which body parts um, were affected by each individual sound. There are several different schools of thought on that. But I promise you that if you practice the six healing sounds, you will indeed enhance your own health.